to me, the main character. And from what I see in this trailer, this young man got his own place now. He got his own apartment. And this young man is going to be valedictorian in high school, graduating the whole now. Let's talk about Kevin real quick. What's going to go down for Kevin? Is it nothing but blue skies for Kevin? Is everything going to be all good for Kevin? Is he going to be, you know, finally breaking through? What do you think? Story-wise, um, you know, it can't always be blue skies. He wouldn't have anything to watch. <laughs> <He wouldn't. laughs> but, you know, Kevin has his moments. You know, he still has his moments of growing and coming into his manhood and making good decisions and then making bad decisions. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how the road opens up for him now being valedictorian and now moving on and having his own spot. But, of course, you know, with growth, comes change and with change always comes sometimes not so good circumstances. So I want to see some juicy parts to, to get into with his story, not just with the fact that he's just growing into his manhood and growing from a boy to a man, but I want to see more of him finding himself. Okay. Okay. All right. Tamika's then. Do you care about Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I care about Kevin. I <laughs> I'm actually here for this. I'm happy for us to see him graduate and be valedictorian and have his own yes. apartment. But I felt like when he was making that decision in the last season to kind of want separation from his parents, I felt like that kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't really understanding it, but I get it. You know, kids feel different things. So yeah. I think it's going to be interesting for us to see what this all entails. He's definitely not going to be having it all good. He's going to have some bumps and bruises and things that's going to get in the way. So it's like, is that going to be his friends? Is that going to be the relationship he had with the girl that was into the stars and moon and, you know, all of that? <laughs> is, is <it> <laughs> Simone. Be? Yeah, Simone. Uh -huh. That's what I'm curious to see. And how she is cute. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's cute. She's cute. I, I like I, I like her for him. You know what I'm saying? Like she out there, but I like I like her. You know what I mean? EJ, talk to me. What's going on, my boy Kevin? I mean, is Kevin gonna be riding off in the sunset? I mean, this this season is it is he gonna have no problems at all? Well, I feel like uh, since the first or second, like whatever in the beginning, I don't feel like Kevin has had a lot of things that have happened to him. And to me, he is also probably one of the people you would consider a main character as well yeah. so i feel like something needs to happen to kevin kevin shouldn't just be able to ride off into the sunset because that's not really how life goes especially with him making such a big move wanting to emancipate right when you're about to graduate like it didn't really make any sense uh because you only had one year left so it's going to be interesting to see how they actually write this or how they uh do this for kevin because i don't think it's a realistic story to make him just you know, I don't think that that's how it should go. <laughs> I don't want to okay. see the bad happy doing, but I just want to see him have some, you know, a growing pain. I want to see him have a little bump. Okay. Tika, do you want him to have a little bump as well? Or you want him to ride up on the sun? What's going on? Listen, I mean, I pretty much agree with what everyone has already said. I, I in the real world, there are going to be some bumps and bruises and, I was, I'm with Tamika when I was trying to figure out why is it that he wanted to, you know, get out of his parents' home so swiftly as opposed to just graduating and then moving and going to college or whatever the case may be. But there's something else that's pushing him that we're not seeing um, or that they have yet to show us um, that is the re real reason behind him wanting to, you know, be on his own. Because you if you want to go and be laid up, with someone you could just go get a hotel like he has more than enough money so i don't even think it's the fact that he wants to have free free sex you know what i mean so it's interesting there's of course just like y'all say with real world there's definitely going to be some bumps and bruises for him it's not going to be all cookies and creams um but shout out to him for the circumstances the the semi-circumstances that he had um to become the valedictorian 